So I just got the world's first programming monitor. And I'll, I'll be honest, like as someone who's been coding for years, like a monitor is not going to be um, what makes you really productive. But if it's really easy on the eyes, it could probably make you feel a lot less um, tired or uncomfortable over time. So I got this out, wanted to check it out, and then I'll let you know if this is something I really recommend to software engineers. So the way I'm going to be doing that is by judging it on these three things. So how easy it is to rotate, how easy it is to adjust the settings, and really how easy it is on the eyes and what it's like when I'm coding. So with that being said, I'm going to just open this up and see what it's like inside. Yo, this is a little heavy. <laughs> All right. So right here we have this really nice quick start guide. Um, I'm probably not going to read it. And we have an HDMI cable, power connector, and a Thunderbolt cable. Far, there's a lot of packaging here that I'm not a fan of. So right here I have, so right here I have the monitor stand and we're going to look inside and see how nice this is. Um, so my first reaction is that this is very dynamic. Um, it goes left and right, not forward and back, just left and right. Um, and it doesn't seem like it rotates very well. Oh. Okay. Um, it seems like I got the ergonomic stand. Actually put the stand here and then the, I believe it holds it like this. And then you should have the monitor to put on right here. So we have the monitor here and it's pretty heavy. So what I'm really looking forward to about this monitor is that it has a moon halo mode. So there's going to be light behind the monitor if you're ever coding at night. And there's also a coding mode. So apparently there's a coding mode where it's easier to see the code that you're writing on this monitor. Um, so we're gonna take a look at that and see if it's really as good as they say it is. So to start off with, I, don't, I actually don't use a monitor. Um, what I actually use right here is just my laptop. It has everything I need and it's more than convenient enough. I think it's just too much to just be dependent on so many accessories. And what I usually do when I'm really coding late at night is that I actually have this lamp that turns on um, this really nice, comfortable lighting. So if I'm ever coding at around midnight, this lamp usually makes things easier on my eyes. But now that I have this monitor, I'm sure a lot of people would say that it's an upgrade. So first I'm going to unplug a lot of these things and we're gonna start attaching the monitor on there. So first I'm gonna start with the stand. Um, the stand should be adjustable for most uh, tables. So right here on my standing desk, I'm about to add this right here. And then on here, I'm going to add um, the arm. And if you look at it, the arm actually moves really smoothly left and right. So I could do this. This right here is a little bit hard to move around. Um, it's a little bit harder than I thought it would be. So now we're gonna try to attach this monitor. And let's pray to Jesus that I do not break this thing. So a problem I have with this monitor is it doesn't let you rotate both ways. So when I try to turn it this way, it actually uh, locks into position. So I'm only allowed to turn it uh, vertically like this. Um, it has good tilt right here, up and down, left and right. Yeah, I think uh, another thing about this monitor or the stand that comes with it is that it's actually not long enough for the monitor itself. So if I try to tilt it, I'm gonna swing into my own table. So I have to tilt it out and then tilt it up and down. So what I do like is that I'm able to move this monitor up and down so I can move it as low or high as I'd like. Um, right here is probably a pretty good angle, something that's eye level for me. So this is what my monitor looks like so all set up on my workspace. So one of the features about this monitor that I love the most is that it has a moon hollow on the back of it. That means there's a light that changes every time you switch between your coding modes. And the reason why this is really nice is because when I was late night coding, I usually needed my lamp beside me to turn on and off to make it easier on my eyes to code. The fact that there's a light on the back of my monitor means that I don't need that lamp anymore and it frees up a lot of desk space for me. Now, when looking at the different coding functions, it's really nice that I can actually switch between a user mode, which is really bright, down to like a dark mode when I'm coding really late at night. There's also a light mode too, but I don't find myself using that one as much as just plain old user mode. But I really just don't like how hard it is to rotate. But I think this monitor is assuming that you're not going to be the type of person who's going to rotate this that much. Now, when we consider all these factors, this monitor has a really steep price tag at about $700. And I would say that's really on the higher end for a lot of monitors for a lot of people. If you're someone who is new to coding, I would probably hold off on it. 
But if you're a working software engineer and you're coding all day and you can get your company to expense your work from home budget, this is probably a really good choice for you just because it's just so good on your eye strain and that it can free up a lot of desk space. Now, if you're trying to do anything else with this monitor, like playing games or watching movies, I wouldn't say this monitor really stands out in all of those features. It really is just designed to be a lot more easy on the eyes when you're coding.